packing written by jerom k jerom jerom the narrator was proud of his ability to pack anything so he told his friends george and harris to leave the packing up to him to his surprise they readily agreed to his suggestion this was not what jerom intended his idea was to instruct george and harris to do the work while he supervised them he disliked it when people sat idly and did nothing while he did all the work jerom was irritated but he decided to start packing it took him longer than anticipated but he finally managed to pack everything however just when he was closing the last bag harris asked him if he had packed in the boots jerom was annoyed he thought it was just like harris to remind him of the boots when he was almost finished with packing of course he had to open the bag and pack the boots inside it it was then that he remembered his toothbrush his toothbrush gave him trouble every time he traveled somewhere he would pack it the night before and unpack it in the morning to use it then he would forget to repack it and would have to rush at the last moment to get his toothbrush and run to the station he unpacked his bag again but he could not find the toothbrush he had to reopen everything again to find it finally he found it inside a boot poor jerom had to repack everything once again by this time jerom was exhausted he gave in to harish's suggestion to let him and george do the packing george and harris took over from jerom but jerom did not think they would do any better than him he believed that george and harris were the worst packers in the entire world jerom was right almost immediately they broke a cup then harris packed strawberry jam on top of a tomato the jam squashed the tomato but they had to scoop the tomato out with a spoon jerom said nothing but came over to watch this made george and harris even more nervous they were so nervous that they packed the pies at the bottom and the heavy things on top the pies were completely smashed then they started packing the butter jerom had never seen anyone treat a stick of butter the way george and harris did in his entire life george stepped on to the butter he and harris had to scrape it out of his slipper then they tried to put it in a kettle but that did not work so they had to scoop out all the butter from the kettle and put it on the chair harris then sat on the butter now it was stuck to him george and harris not knowing this looked for the butter everywhere finally george found it sticking to harris they managed to get it off harris and put it back in the teapot their packing became more complicated with the addition of montmorency montmorency was jerome's dog and it was his ambition in life to get in everyone's way if he went a day without things being thrown at him he felt his day wasted now he came and sat on the things to be packed he put his leg into the jam upset the teaspoons and pretended that the lemons were rats he squashed three of the lemons before harris chased him away with a frying pan finally the packing was done at 12:50 am the three of them decided to go to bed george asked them at four time should they wake up harris said 7 and jerom said 6 this led to a debate between the two in the spirit of compromise they finally settled on to waking up at 6:30 they turned to ask george for his opinion but he had fallen asleep during the debate jerom and harris placed a bathtub next to him this way when he woke up in the morning he would tumble into it finally jerom and harris went to bed as well